Trade Genius. What's going on, guys? Philip at Trade Genius. I wanted to talk about this digital dollar that came up when the um, bill was being drafted for the stimulus for the coronavirus, you know, virus breakout. And they had been talking about, well, it, it cropped up in the draft of the bill where a new digital dollar was uh, proposed. And as a means to make payments to people, and businesses hit by coronavirus-induced economic turmoil. According to the plans, the U.S. Federal Reserve would offer bank accounts to all Americans branded Fed accounts. Fed accounts would allow the government to bypass commercial banks and turn retail banking into a public service. Everyone would have a Fed account just as they would a social security number they could use to send and receive dollars. And so somebody had asked, you know, is this bearish for Bitcoin? Does it kind of kill the Bitcoin you know, story. And the answer is no, because if there is a digital version of the US dollar, if there's a, a Fed dollar that's digital, it doesn't change the fact that you're still dealing with a fiat currency. It's just the digital form of it, which we deal with every day anyway. I mean, you send, you will transact in digital dollars every single day, just about whether you're doing it at the credit card machine or online with Amazon or what have you, where the percentage of times we actually grab a physical paper dollar, for most people, it's very small percentage of the time. Usually we got our card or usually we're just hitting the button on the website, right? So w this isn't anything new really other than maybe making it blockchain and crypto base and having a dedicated wallet for it. So I can get why the proposal was there. You bypass the banking system so that you could, instead of sending out checks for the stimulus checks that are coming out, you can just instantly send, send it out through the app. You have a registered wallet to your social security, send it out through the app. I've been a, a fan of stable coins and things like that, or, or stable versions of a dollar, you know, which are what stable coins are, you know, digital, digital proxies for a dollar basically inside the crypto universe. So, because I think a lot of times that makes it a lot easier for people to get into crypto, get used to having a digital wallet, used to using uh, digital dollars and payments, right? So I, I think it's a good thing. I don't think it, it remotely affects Bitcoin's, uh, model because Bitcoin's a fixed finite asset locked down by the most powerful computing hive you know the world's ever seen okay so you know you just you have huge amounts of computing power securing that network um, if they did something that created uh, basically where they would use the blockchain to settle these transactions that would be pretty cool uh, imagine having a federal uh, you know federally backed crypto that used the Bitcoin blockchain as the reserve settlement layer, that would be pretty cool. And that's where then you know Bitcoin's not going anywhere. And then uh, more adoption because, you know, you have your government uh, using it in that capacity. That I mean, obviously, that is just, it's nothing that is in, in written anywhere. But, you know, possible, a possibility that you could see a proposal like that come along because the Bitcoin blockchain, you just aren't going to be able to counterfeit it. There's just too much raw computing power and, and too costly to ever try to attack that chain and take it over. So any case, you know, my take on that is it's bullish. I think this is, if, if something like this does happen, and, and the fact that we're even talking about this, the fact that other countries like China are already doing it, it's just a matter of time. It really is. So it's coming. And what we want to do now is just um, what the value, right? We're getting people kind of sliding over to this acceptance of this, you know, crypto uh, currency, you know, everyday cryptocurrency usage. And your value is going to be Bitcoin. It's going to be this guy right here because it's the finite, it's the original, it's the most strongest and secure blockchain. So I'm actually okay with it. I'm not, you know, it doesn't really excite me because it's fiat, but it does excite me in the fact that it does get the broader acceptance going in the crypto world. And I think ultimately that behooves Bitcoin. Um, there's going to be a lot of money pumped into the system now. It's not going to stop. It's now gone into overdrive and that's not going to stop. And ultimately, I think that helps Bitcoin's case as far as, you know, really these really high valuations because that liquidity is going to flow into assets. And especially when you got an asset where there's only 21 million pieces, right? That'd be like a big company, a big, sh big company like Amazon only have 21 million shares or something like that. I mean, it's so finite. It's just, I mean, that's why we are at the valuations that we're at. And you have to think that we've only started recently seeing like, you know, larger money come into the space, right? Real mainstream adoption, I think, as far as early mainstream adoption, really didn't, we didn't really see that manifest until 2017. So here we are all of a sudden now from before those days where we were sub 1k and now we're always steady in the sub 10k figures right so very bullish you know I, the big picture has not changed and, and bitcoin's got a bright bright future ahead of it 
both in usage, expanding the blockchain usage, its blockchain usage, and also in its value per unit. So, all right, guys, well, that's my take on it. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you're interested in any of our stuff, head over to tradelikeagenius.com or tradegenius.co. I'll run in a $2.99 special and you guys can join us in the room. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Trade Genius.